One of the country's leading civil rights leaders who marched side by side with Dr. King was born and raised right here in Asheville. He was the father of State Senator Floyd McKissick of Durham. News 13's Kimberly King spoke exclusively with the senator. Kim, he remembers his father's stories growing up here in Asheville. He certainly does, Darcel. It was fascinating and what an incredible story. The fact that one of the nation's top civil rights leaders was born here in Buncombe County is interesting enough in and of itself. But there are also stories of countless African Americans who grew up as slaves facing racism for decades in the South. There were times in Asheville when racism and segregation were simply a matter of life. This photo, taken around 1950 at what was called the Colored Library, 39 South Market Street. This inside the library. Once an Asheville school child himself, Floyd McKissick became one of the country's foremost civil rights leaders, working side by side with Martin Luther King. My father and Dr. King were uh, very close friends and associates. They worked together frequently in the civil rights movement on all types of causes and issues and together led the March on Washington back in 63. McKissick on the cover of Newsweek magazine with MLK in 1967, something his son, State Senator Floyd McKissick, says wasn't out of the norm. He had appeared on programs like uh, Face the Nation, um, Issues and Answers, uh, you, you name it, Read the Press. Floyd remembers his father's stories of Asheville. Uh, certainly as a child, he had a very memorable experience when he got on a streetcar or bus and they told him to go to the back because he was black. And it struck him profoundly and something that stood with him always. McKissick went on to become the first black student admitted to UNC Chapel Hill Law School, moving to New York to head up a top civil rights organization leading Freedom Rides. There were violent confrontations. There were many angry mobs that met people when they arrived on those buses. Fighting to end racism in the face of bigotry, his son knows what his father would have hoped for his legacy. Somebody who had courage, someone who had conviction, someone who was principal, someone who did not mind fighting for change and, and in permanent change that equalized opportunities for all people in this country, regardless of race, religion, or, or background. Really is a fascinating story. Now, Senator McKissick attended a special event in Washington last night hosted by President Obama to honor civil rights leaders, including his father. We've assembled an archive of fascinating historic Asheville photos. Go to WLOS.com and go under top stories. They are definitely worth seeing and reading about.